Hey, how's it going? Dave 2D here. So if you're looking at the title of this video, you're probably thinking I'm talking about the OnePlus 6 or the OnePlus 6T. I'm not. Those are awesome phones. I'd probably pick them second in this kind of shootout here. But the problem with picking any kind of award or accolade for a phone is that the price of a smartphone has a huge effect as to how much I like a phone. And right now, at the end of 2018, if I had to pick the winner, the phone of the year, it's actually the Galaxy S9. This is a phone that has amazing hardware, awesome screen, Snapdragon 845, and while every other phone out there was trying to figure out ways to copy iPhone's notch, these guys kept it real, no notch this year. It has a headphone jack, wireless charging, stereo speakers, and an awesome camera. I mean, it had that gimmicky variable aperture thing, and I'll be honest, I never used that variable aperture thing once outside of the review. I mean, it was really cool, a little gimmicky, but I just never used it. But the hardware on this thing is so good. And the moment I did my review, I switched over to this phone, and every other review I did this year on an Android phone, I've referred to the S9 and the S9 Plus as like, often a cheaper and sometimes better alternative to those new phones because this thing came out earlier on in the year. Like why buy a gaming phone for eight or $900 when the S9 plays them just as well and is a better overall phone with a really good camera? Why buy the Note 9 when I think it was a thousand bucks and this thing was like 650 bucks for the S9 Plus at the time? It just felt like this phone was so comparable to all the other phones out there and it was just getting cheaper and cheaper every month that went by. And right now you can get this phone pretty readily around the world for like 500 bucks US. If you wanna get fancy, go on Amazon, pay $519, get next day shipping with like a decent return policy. This phone is very inexpensive right now, the S9. The S9 Plus is like 75, maybe $100 more. Awesome value for both of those phones. See, when this thing launched, it launched for 850, 900 bucks, depending on where you got it from. But this phone did not sell well, and a lot of people didn't upgrade their phones to the S9 or the S9 Plus. So after a couple months, the price dropped, and many months later, it's now Q4, end of the year, this thing has dropped to a very inexpensive price point, to the point where it's very difficult for any other phone to hit this kind of feature set for that money. Like 500 bucks for all of this, that's awesome. Like that's seriously something special. So point being, if you're interested in a phone right now at the end of 2018, you're looking to buy a phone or you want a phone for the holidays, take a look at this thing because the price is awesome. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.